But it's about the human rights for me. Uh, I come from a perspective where women who are seeking uh, health access or reproductive rights, and they and their doctors were imprisoned and tortured and some even fled into exile. And that is the perspective that I bring in. You see, you cannot have human rights without reproductive rights. You cannot have reproductive rights without democracy. You lose one, you lose the other. So I mean, America, we cannot get started with criminalizing a certain group of people because of how they want to live their lives. Suddenly, not the woman, half or probably more than half of our population trying to criminalize them. Where is it going to probably next is safe sex marriage or interracial marriage? It is a slippery slope. So I think that need experience to fight for democracy, fight to defend human rights and reproductive rights. It is also an issue of healthcare. Uh, my wife uh, survived uh, breast cancer. Well, by the time she was diagnosed, it was stage three. It was almost uh, stage four when she would have uh, been uh, terminal. And that was because we could not access healthcare. And that is very important for me as a black woman as a black woman who, who is my wife. And how many people of color, or how many women in general are going through this? So it is economics, it is human rights, and it is about access. We cannot criminalize access. I think we should put more money into people's pockets so that they can access healthcare, and bring healthcare for all, especially people who are struggling to avoid it. And prescription drugs are suddenly difficult to access. These are the things that we should be talking about as a country and as a community rather than criminalizing people. And these are the things that we believe that people are struggling with. So we should qualify uh, reproductive rights at, from the federal level, but also create more avenues to put more money out there for healthcare access.